welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we are going to be reviewing the new Govi uh, Neon Rope Lights. Um, I'm super, super excited to be reviewing these. Uh, this video is going to be pretty long, um, so just a little warning for that. Uh, but without, so I'm trying to keep this intro short. Without further ado, let's just get right into the review. Okay, got the package here. Um, it doesn't look like it's been manhandled or anything, luckily. Uh, gonna open this if I can. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go grab some scissors. It feels like they gift wrap it, which is kind of cool. Like, it feels like I'm opening a present almost. <laughs> These are my rope lights. Wow, it looks really cool. Um, the box is actually bigger than I expected. Um, the scenes here are colorful, or the uh, what the different features: um, colorful lighting, DIY mode, music mode. It's waterproof, IP67. You can set timers, segmented color control, and it works with Google Assistant and Alexa. And I think now they released a new. Uh, feature where it works with uh, Siri too. They are the R Agobi RGBIC LED neon rope lights. And they work with the Gobi Home app, obviously. Okay, whoa, that, that is really pretty. I like I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing with these because I'm honestly not entirely sure what shape I want to do. Uh, the model number is H61AO. You can buy it on Amazon and govi.us. I'm not sure about the other countries at the moment. Um, and here's a QR code where you can download the Govi Home app. Okay, we're gonna open this very carefully. Oh, this is super helpful. They have a tab to open it so I don't accidentally ruin the box, which is great because I really don't like opening these. So the tab is super helpful. All right. Okay, there we go. As I've mentioned many times. In the past. Thank you for choosing Gobi. Look at that. I just really want to feel what this. Oh, it feels kind of like rubbery-ish. It feels really, really cool. <laughs> Oh, it comes with Gobi straps. Um, not straps, uh, Velcro. Gobi Velcro. Okay, that is super cool, and I'm going to use that on something. It literally has the Gobi logo on it. That is so, so cool. I don't know why I'm freaking out over Velcro, but I am freaking out over it. Uh, we're going to go through everything the box has really quickly. I'm going to just take it all out. This is so cool. All right, so it comes with a lot of stuff. All right, I'm gonna organize this one second. Okay, got everything out of the box and organized. Um, we got the like it, share it card as usual. And it gives you all the social medias and it tells you their support email and it also tells you how you can do it through the app. And it tells you to download the Gobi Home app. Here is the user manual. They usually have several languages. You can see there are safety instructions. It tells you it's rated as IP67 waterproof. It can be used outdoors, but not immersed in water. I'm going to be using it inside but a uh, little helpful tip to know in case I accidentally spilled something on it. Um, use the product with the provided power adapter only. Okay, so this probably means we can't use it with one of the other adapters for the strip lights uh, or the portable lamps or whatever else, what other, other goofy products you might have. It's probably specific to this one alone. And it does, it feels heavier than the, than the other ones. Um, 
and a little bit bigger, I think, too. Keep the product away from sharp objects or strong corrosive chemicals. Although this product has good bending performance when bending the neon rope light, please try not to fix the buckle too close and bend it too large so as not to damage the light beads then affect the lifespan. Okay, so I guess this means like don't make super, super sharp corners. I don't think any of my ideas have sharp corners. I, I honestly am not entirely sure what shape I want the lights to be. But I have a few ideas, and I'm just going to play around with it for a little bit before actually deciding. I'm also not sure if it'll be long enough for some of them, so we will test that out later. Do not install the neon rope light near any heat sources. Do not allow children to install the neon rope light alone. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm just going to ignore that one. Um, because my parents are at home, uh, avoid installing the neon rope light near t potentially dangerous sources, such as candles, liquid filled objects, unroll the neon rope lights before powering them on in case of only using adhesive to fix the buckle. If you want to get the maximum adhesion, it is suggested that you wait for a period of time to install the neon rope light after fixing the buckle. It is recommended that this product should not be stuck to the back of TV and display. Okay, well, I'm not just putting it on a TV, so that's okay. The only rule that I'm breaking here is do not install, do not let children install this alone. But whatever. <laughs> um, what you get, we're going to go through, make sure we got everything. Neon rope lights, check. The adapter, which is right here said earlier uh the user manual which you got right here and the service card which is this uh it does not mention these buckles but we you know from over here and the safety instructions that it comes with it and then of course the alcohol prep pads and some screws and these other little white things which i'm not sure what they are Okay, at a glance, it's the same as all of the other Govi products, uh, but we will go through it again anyways. For those of you unfamiliar with Govi products, turn the light on and off, press this to cycle through nine different colors, and then press to enter music mode, press and hold to cycle through six brightness levels. Here is the instructions on how to install the device. Unpack the box and check all the items listed in the packing list. Check. Power on the neon rope light and check whether it lights up. All right, so it said we have to unroll the light strips before we power it on. So we are going to do that really quick. I am definitely saving these Govi Velcro straps. I will find something to use them for. Maybe I will use it to coil up my uh, power cords or something i don't know but i love it it's so cool it literally says govi on it Ooh, it's very like bendy that's cool Ooh. it it feels really cool it feels kind of rubbery it's got like a rubbery texture but it's also kind of like smooth Ooh, like that it's very uh bouncy i don't know if that's the right word it's cool okay I'm gonna undo this twist tie. Okay. This part attaches here. Just like all of the other Govi lights. All right. I'll plug this into the wall. I've got like three things plugged in here right now. Yeah, see, it is much bigger than all of the other ones. This one, these are both LED strip lights. This is an RGB, this is an RGB IC. And this one is bigger than the RGB IC and heavier. That is probably why it doesn't want you to use any other power adapters. All right. Uh, whoa, whoa, this is so cool. Oops, I accidentally stepped on my scissors. 
Oh, wow. This looks way cooler than I thought it would be. It's on music mode, uh, if that's not apparently obvious. Uh, the ends of... Oh, yeah, okay, it turns on. It's just the way that the thing is set up so that the music mode, the way the music mode works. All right. Well, this is pretty cool. I am going to go onto the Govi Home app and connect it to my phone. These colors are so bright and vibrant. I love it. It is so, so pretty. Look at this. It's so, like, and the colors are changing and everything. Wow, I love this peach pink that appeared over here not that long ago. It was really pretty. All right, I am going to connect the lights, and I will do a screen recording of that to show you what it looks like. All right, so I already have the Gobi Home app downloaded on my phone because, well, I have a lot of Gobi stuff. So um, there is, a, like I mentioned earlier, there is a QR code on the back of the box uh, that lets you download the Gobi Home app. On It works on iPhones and Android phones, and I think they also have one for the iPad too, but I am not sure about that. Do not quote me on that. <laughs> um, we're going to go into the Gobi Home app. These are all of the lights that I have here, and that's my sister's. Uh, we're going to click the plus over here. And then you can either search for it, but it's kind of annoying because, you know, there's a lot of stuff here. Or you can just click the Bluetooth icon, and it will find all of the lights in the vicinity. This one is it right here, H6180. That is the model. So I'm going to click on that. It says the device is pairing, so we're going to short press the on and off button. All right, it's connected. I am going to name it really quickly. You can always rename it later. Uh, neon lights. Searching for Wi-Fi. All right, it's connected to the Wi-Fi. I like the uh, icon that they did for this one. Well, it lights up. That's cool. Um, I'm not going to do that shape, though. I uh, will show you my ideas later. First, we were just going to go through all of the different settings. Right now, the, the light scene that you were seeing earlier on the music mode when I first turned it on, it is on the energetic setting. Um, they have all of the same music modes as the regular RGB IC light strips. Um, at least the ones that I have. I'm not sure if the other RGB IC light strips are different. I have the usual color mode where you can control different segments, turn them different colors than the rest. Um, I am going to mark these some different colors and then later when we switch back to the lights themselves, you can see what differences the colors have made and where all the different segments are. All right, and there's also the scene modes. Ooh, there's, uh, I think this one's new, Rustling Leaves. I don't think I have that one, or I don't think I've seen it before. And then, of course, DIYs. I'm going to see if you can use the other DIYs. Yes, you can use the RGB IC DIYs that you have already made and put them onto your lights. Wow, that looks gorgeous. You need to see this in real life. Hang on. I'm going to switch and show you the DIY that is currently on uh, the same DIY that I'm using on my bookshelf right now is also on my lights, and it looks gorgeous. All right, I'm going to show you, and then we will go back in here, and I'll show you all the different options. This is a really pretty DIY. It is the sand that I'm using on my bookshelf, and it looks super pretty with these neon lights. Um, it's much brighter through the phone than it actually is in real life. Um, like, it's almost blinding through the phone. But here, like, in real life, you can see more of the color. Because, like, what, I'm, what I can see through the phone, it looks just really white. And you can just, like, see the color through the rug. But you can actually see the different colors in real life as well on the actual strip. Okay, I'm going to show you the different options. Okay, and we are back in the app here. They have the effects lab. Um, pretty standard, just like all of the other, um, the other strip lights. 
uh, from what I can tell. I don't usually use the effects lab too much, which I probably should. I just don't really have time to go through that. Um, they have a timer, just like everything else. This is all pretty standard. If I'm not wrong, this one has Alexa and uh, Google Assistant enabled. I'm sorry if I just pinged your device. <laughs> I don't have the Amazon one, and the only Google one that I have is in my kitchen, so I didn't ping anything. Although, I, you can use it through the phone, I believe, as well. So, I might test that out later. Okay, I'm going to remember this. Um... I'm going to show you exactly like the size of each segment and everything. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to do that. I was going to say something, but I forgot what I was going to say. So let's just go back to real life because I think that's all of the features here, except in the settings. Yep, Alexa, Google Assistant, the hardware version, and the product model. Okay, so you can see I set yellow here, except everything except the red and the green seems to show up like really 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 bright uh through the phone i mean it is bright in real life but it looks white i am going to come up with a few different shapes and show you what they look like and see if it's possible and then i'll decide which lights which shape i like the best so i've been trying for about five minutes and i can honestly tell you it is super hard to shape these without the clips so uh Trying a bunch of different shapes before I actually put them on the wall is going to be a lot more difficult than expected. Uh, here. Just let me show you. <laughs> it just kind of bounces back, if you know what I mean. <laughs> trying to write out my name. <laughs> also, it seems a little bit short to do that, but I still want to try. Just stay, please. Um... It's really, really hard unless you have those buckles in. Because it, otherwise it just kind of slides out. Alright, uh, a lot more difficult than I expected. This is probably why it doesn't want children to do it alone. Well, I want to prove them wrong because I want to prove that I'm smart enough to do this somehow. Oh, I am going to do this off camera though because it is already hard enough. I wanted to do like a speed run thing. It's definitely not going to happen. At least I sort of got a speed run, although it was more just me shaking my hands in frustration. <laughs> All right. This is it, the moment of truth, the moment where I might actually be able to prove that children can do this on their own if they have the brains, I guess, and the determination to do this. Uh, let's see. We already did before you install. Installing wipes, wipe the surface to make sure it's clean and dry. Hang on, let me grab those wipes. Yeah, I kind of made a little bit of a mess over here. I'll clean that up later. Besides, I still don't know. Maybe I'll need that box in the future. I don't know. All right. I'm going to clear this out of the way. I'll put it somewhere else right now. Got the space all cleared out. Uh, I actually didn't stop to think about the fact it might be a little too big for this space. And if not, I might have to find a different spot for it. Um, so I'm going to try that right now, sort of. And I'm going to find somewhere to put my phone so you can maybe kind of see what's going on. Uh, I'll be right back. Perfect. Okay, so I've got it standing on top of my star pal right now. Just kind of sitting there. If you don't know what the star pal is, it's another Gobi light. Uh, it's like a lamp. Uh, I have a review on that as well. Um, it should be in this, uh, go this review playlist if you want to check that out. But it was perfect to stand up my phone. So that is another use for your star pal if you have one or if you want to get one. <laughs> right? Which one? I just want to see how this would look. Would I be, like, glowing or something? Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm glowing. I'm just gonna... I am now the glowing girl. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just feel like it would be funny. I'm just like, kind of like, it's all over me. I'm just... 
why I'm still doing this. I don't know, but I just think it looks cool. So I just want to look at myself glowing before I put this up on the wall and can't do it anymore. So the thing keeps falling. The ultimate achievement, glowing girl. All right, let's put these on the wall. Before I accidentally drop it or break something, I don't know. It feels so warm. I guess if you were cold, you could just put these on yourself and warm up. All right, let's check the manual. Right, Chris, we gotta wipe this surface. Oh, right. I wanted to test this to make sure it wasn't too thick. All right, that's the surface area covered. Luckily, I have more prep wipes from my other boxes if I need them. Wipe it to make sure it's clear and dry. I'm gonna get the buckles to make sure they're ready. Sounds like a little zip box so you can open it and close it again as needed. This one, it's it's like a chip bag. Okay, so as you can see, the one with the buckles in it, you can open and close as needed. This one with the screws, you'll have to cut open or just open it like a bag of chips. And you could you could always move it to this bag, I guess. But I don't know if I'm gonna need these or not. I don't know. I can put screws in the wall on my own. That's probably why it says don't do it alone. So I'm gonna see if I can do it with just the buckles. If not, I'll have my dad help me with the screws. I'll kind of just show you how they clip in. Take a buckle in. This is how I'm assuming it goes, because it doesn't specifically say. Just slide it on, snap it in, and then just stick this part onto the wall. This peels off, and that is what I'm assuming goes on the wall. So I try that. Although I guess if you wanted to, it could go, oh no, it can't. You can't, like if you wanted like a backlight type thing, it can't go. <laughs> The last buckle, and I still have N and A. I'm screwed. I'm really screwed. No pun intended with my screw, my screws. <laughs> That's it, I'm out of buckles. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so I got it. Barely, and it, the tea looks terrible, but I might have an idea on how we can fix this. It's not usually a good thing to put on the wall, but hey, gotta do what I gotta do if I can find some. I know I got somewhere. check another room my hopefully savior none other than tape i'm hoping that maybe i'll be able to tape the tea to the tape the tea to the wall it's sagging so i gotta bring it up a little so maybe maybe please please i'll be able to fix this Okay, so we've learned a lesson. Tape does... I almost broke the Millennium Falcon. Okay, so we have learned a valuable lesson. Tape does not work on these. It literally doesn't even stick. Uh, I don't... I'm thinking of using duct tape, but I don't know. If that doesn't work, then it's gonna be stuck on the wall. Like, sticky stuff on the wall, sticky residue. So, yes, Gobi, please, if you're watching this, or if you read my review, which I will post later on the Gobi Home app, please add at least three more buckles. Please, please, I am begging you, look at this disaster. So according to my phone, before the um, the time lapse, it is it has been 33 minutes so far. So I have been trying to do this for 33 minutes and it is still not sticking and it's just kind of falling apart now because i don't have enough buckles and i tried to rearrange some which helped a little bit but now you can see the last bit of the strip just will not stick at all so i am going to try duct tape hopefully that works if not when my dad gets back i'll ask him to help me with some screws maybe that'll work but still please more buckles i need to be able to attach it to more places so that it sticks better and this does not happen um because there's really just not enough buckles on the last three letters and uh yeah it really needs that last buckle for the t because it it doesn't really stay unless you have two holding that top bar up so please 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 add more buckles or like at least have a way to be able to like send more buckles or something that's my dad coming home right now uh, i heard the garage door open so i want to ask him if he can help me put some screws in although i'm not going to record that part because privacy reasons so fingers crossed let's see if it works okay so i finally uh got my dad to put these up it took a while he didn't really like the screws that it came with they work, it's just that he said they make really big holes in the wall and he didn't want that big of a hole. So we got some smaller ones with like, let go in more that, that, are, that are longer. So they'll still hold really well and they seem to have been holding pretty well so far. Uh, they haven't fallen down yet, so that's good. Um, even though a lot of the stickiness on the brackets is gone, uh, they still seem to hold up pretty well with the screws. So I would recommend putting them on with screws because um, the stick the stickiness didn't really hold on its own um so now time for the reveal got it set up here um i mean i do wish we had like one more bracket so i could push this down but uh i mean it's it's not that bad i still really like it um a little bit extra length here so it's just hanging down like that it still looks really cool kind of like dripping i guess you could say it's dripping <laughs> um this is just a standard rgb icdoi that i really like that i usually have on my light strips i haven't designed any specifically for neon lights yet but now that they are up i am definitely going to do that so it looks really really great right now it's a, it's a little bit higher than uh, I was planning, but that's okay. I still think it looks absolutely beautiful. 
So I am going to test out some DIYs with it, and then we'll do a little music mode testing as well. Okay, so we are back in the Gobi Home app. Um, we are going to try on some music modes. I know we did this at the beginning, but we didn't really focus on that too much, and I want to see how it looks when you put it up on the wall, so we might as well try it. Um, I'm going to cycle through each of them and let you know which is which as I record it. And I am going to pick a copyright-free song because I don't want to get demonetized. I'm sorry. Even though I don't really, I'm not qualified to earn money for any of this yet. I'm still not going to do it, though. <laughs> I'm trying not to. But sometimes it's kind of inevitable. But in this case, I'm just going to be playing some copyright-free music. Anyways, let's just go right to the demonstration. Hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And... Uh, I, I let me know what you think about my song choice. <laughs> Currently, it is on the energy mode. I really like this. I don't, I mean, I like the energy modes, but they're not usually my favorites. But in this case, I really, really like the energy mode. It looks super cool. All right, let's move on to the next music mode. This is the rhythm music mode. I think it's pretty cool, but for a neon sign, it's kind of flashy for me and kind of hurts my eyes to look at too long. I think it's, it's, it's more suited for like ceiling lights, you know? But like for a sign like this, I don't think it's the greatest idea because I think, I think my eyes are exploding now. I'm gonna get off this and move on to the next one before I destroy your eyes too. I'm so sorry. This is the Spectrum one. Um, I guess the music's a little too quiet for this one because it's not really showing that well. I'm gonna turn the music up a little bit and see what happens. I don't know, it doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference because it's at 90% right now and it just shows like a tiny bit of improvement. So maybe not the best one out of all the DIY, of the music modes. Or maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. I don't really like this one. I think this is probably like at the bottom of my list so far. Let's move on to the next one. This is the rolling DIY. I like this one. It's really cool. Although, like like I said again, like for, for the sign, I don't really like it when it's off. Because then it just looks kind of plain. So, again, while I do really like this one, I think... It's a little bit better suited for like a ceiling light. Like I prefer it when it's everything's lit up all the time, but like just changing colors. It just kind of looks plain, you know. It's it's still a really good one. I just don't really like it as much when it goes off like that. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is the separation music mode. I really like this one. It's cool. Especially because I can see like on the wall all the colors changing and like a zigzag and it looks really cool. I really like this one. I don't usually like this one, but it on the neon lights it looks really, really nice. Let's move on to the next one. This is the hopping music mode. It's it's cool, but like I said, with the other uh, music mode that's similar to this, I forgot the name. <laughs> um when it's off like that, it doesn't really feel like as festive out as I was as I would like it to be. Um, so again, I'm gonna probably put this one near the bottom of my list. Let's move on to the next one. This is the piano keys music mode. I like this one; it's pretty cool, although it's not really moving at the moment. I think that might just be the style, though. It's a, it's really cool. Um, I might change the colors on this one though. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. If you don't want to, like, destroy your eyes, I think this would be a good DIY. Um, the blue was showing up really white through the camera, so I just want you let, to let you know. It is much more blue in real life, and it's actually a super, super pretty blue. Here, when I go closer, it shows up, but it shows up super dark. So do not trust what you see on the camera for the blue colors. It is actually very blue, and I really, really like it. Let's move on to the next one. This is the fountain. Um, for me, this is my personal favorite on the light strips. Um, and it's very, very nice. 
um, the neon lights as well, but I think this will be like, maybe like in my top four or five so far out of all the music mode ones that I've seen. Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm showing all of these because even if you have other Gobi lights that are RGBIC, the music mode effects can look a lot different on different lights. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is the day and night. Hang on, I just, wanted, I, I just wanted to look at the song. I've never played this song before. Uh, this one's nice too, but again, like I said, it's these are very flashy and I don't like it as much when they're dark like this. Uh, so this will probably be near the bottom of my list. I also think I'm getting a headache from looking at it, so that's maybe not the best thing. Uh, let's move on to the next one. I think we've got two left. This is the sprouting music mode. I really love this one, but at the same time, I think it's blinding me. <laughs> but otherwise, this, this is really, really pretty. I like it, even though it's very simple compared to some of the other ones. I really, sorry. I really like this one. This is actually an RGB effect, uh, I think. I think you can use this on the RGBs, but it looks really, really cool. But also blinds you at the same time. So uh, if you're going to use this one, do so at your own risk. <laughs> Our final music mode is shiny. It's very similar to sprouting, a little bit different. Um, it dims when the, when the music gets quieter. I like it very much as well. Um, I really like a lot of these music modes. But again, the problem with my eyes is staring at it too long. But if you just wanted to like have it on for like like one song or something just to kind of show off, then I think this would definitely be good for that. Uh, but if you want to have it on for like a long time, I would suggest something more practical if you want to look at it a lot. <laughs> Even when I'm looking in the opposite direction, the reflection from it on some of the picture frames in my room and stuff is kind of uh, blinding me still. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go into the app and see if there's any other features that I missed. I always forget to check these out, but there are a lot of scenes, but I just never remember to look at them for some unknown reason. That is all of the scenes. Um, yeah, if you have the Gobi Home app right now, definitely do the Halloween house party, it is super fun. Uh, you if you want, you can see my house. I don't have that many things so far, last I checked, but it is still really fun. You get to pick out like your background and your character. I've got pump, like, in, and when someone visits you, you can equip all the stuff. Oh, someone gave me a candy jar. It's, it gives you random, oh, I got my favorite one, the strip light. I love that, that is so cute. I love it. I didn't get the Grayson. Apparently this is the rarest one. And here you can see, like, everyone that visits your house. You can get all this cool stuff. Thank you, David, for giving me this strip light. You just gave me my favorite. And thank you, everyone else, too. But especially, David, because you gave me my favorite one. Ooh, I really want the warlock hat. Although, I'm going to call it a witch hat. So, don't mind me. Um, so, I think it's really cool. And you can you can visit other people's houses, too, if they have one. You can search people, too. I'm gonna find my sister's house. Although, I don't know if she has one. Yeah, she, does, she doesn't. She probably didn't log in yet. I will check it out later. I like, I like the little cat. It's not... That's why I chose this hallway one instead of the dining room one that some other people have. Here, I can show you. I think Dayfin had... Yeah, this is the other background that you can use. This one's pretty cool. But... I like this one better because this one has a cat and you can also win some prizes from this so you know that's pretty good 15 participants with the most gifts receive these uh anything else oh yeah um there's also going to be a govi uh fan festival for like all of like for the fourth anniversary and there's like a bunch of prizes and stuff and it looks like it's gonna be super fun Spin to win, gifts rush, flash sales, and you get a special app skin. I'm really curious to see what that looks like. And you get double Govi points, Govi wallpapers, and a fan festival medal. I really like the medals. <laughs> the medals are pretty cool. I only have the uh, 
the social celebrity. <gasps> you got a Halloween house party one? Ooh, I love that. I love that. That is so cool. I, I really want to wear this one. You get it after you complete it? Okay. Sounds interesting. Right, so this is getting off topic. <laughs> really, really off topic. Uh, I think that's it for this video. So I will take you to my outro. Uh, that's it for today's video thing. I, why, I don't know why I said it like that. That sounds terrible and weird. And I don't know why I did that. And I'm going to stop talking now. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my review. Let me know if there was anything that I missed or something else that you're interested in seeing. I can always do like a follow-up video or just reply to your comment. Uh, so if there's anything, anything at all, just let me know. And if for some reason the comments are disabled because of YouTube, then just let me know on another video. Or you can reply to one of my community posts as well because I just unlock community posts on my other channel. Link is in the description. As always, just go to my link tree and you will find my other channel. Or if you just go to this channel and you go to my featured channels, you'll find the channel there too. Uh, so that's it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. On my other channel, like I just mentioned, which is, again, links in the description. Um, I'm getting so, so close to 1,000 subscribers. I'm currently at 953. So if you could help me um, get all the way to 1,000, I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, so if you haven't already subscribed, please go and do that, um, it would really mean a lot to me. Uh, I hope you, again, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this review. I have a couple other Govi reviews on this channel, as well as my other channel, so check those out as well if you're interested. Uh, and other than that, I hope you guys have a great day or night, and I can't wait to see you guys next time.